Top of the hour here on Championship Wednesday, presented by Dodds. Let's check in with Marcus Peters on that little cup of gumbo date he has with Sean Payton. Marcus, as the years progressed, this uh, defense has gotten better. Uh, mm -hmm. Kind of turned the corner in December, and, and um, it came through in, against Dallas. Yeah. Where do you think this defense is, and what do you attribute the uh, – how well you guys are playing? I think we're preparing well. We're executing well. We have a, a great team energy out there uh, just on the defense side of the ball because we're talking about defense right now. And um, we're doing exactly what Coach asked for us to do. We're, 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 we're attacking our game plan and we're executing our game plan. I mean, if we do that, then we put ourselves in a position with, with the guys that we got to be able to go out there and be successful. Hey, Marcus. I'm over here. Um, when you said whatever it was that you said uh, earlier in the year, you seemed pretty confident um, that you guys were going to see, that you guys were going to meet again, that mm -hmm. you were going to get another chance against the yeah. Saints. It's pretty early in the year. What what made you so sure? Um, I mean, I just, like I say, throughout all the other stuff that was behind it, uh, me personally, I didn't have an excellent game that game. Uh, so you, you, you look forward to those rematches and, and stuff like that. Be this. Y'all didn't know how to turn out to be this. For me, it just so happened. Like I say, y'all have fun spinning the, uh, the gumbo thing all week, too. So, yeah. No, but with the gumbo thing, I mean, Sean McVay just hollered in about soup, but Marcus, does it make it more fun to kind of have, you know, banter like that back and forth? <laughs> hey, man, my coach is a fiery coach. I'm a fiery player. We have fun with these things uh, internally. Uh, we're going to try to lead y'all to be the media, so y'all do what y'all going to do with it. Y'all do what y'all gonna do with it. That's cool. I mean, yeah. Like I say, man, I got the utmost respect for the Saints and and, and, and their head coach and the organization, you know. Um, but things like that, man, I'm gonna be ready to play just as much as they're gonna be ready to play. We trying to play a game. We ain't trying to talk about no gumbo. Right. We can talk about all that stuff afterwards. How you know, he's pushing and it's, I mean, it's not going to get no further. I am having fun. We're talking about it right now. We're laughing about it, man. I, I, I don't think that it's something that we need to be uh, pushing towards that's over the top of the NFC uh, championship. Let's push that we got the number one t uh, team in the NFC versus the number two team in the NFC, and we're trying to see what we're trying to send to the Super Bowl. How, how would you evaluate your season? Uh, I think we ain't done yet. You, but you personally? I think we ain't done yet. Marcus. So what you getting at? No, I'm wondering, do you think, according to the stats, you've had a season <laughs> below below your normal standards? Oh, yeah, that's cool. I mean, coming to this game, I come from a place where you're going to have your ups and downs. As long as your ass don't stay on the ground, you pick yourself up and you look yourself in the mirror and you keep striding and you keep you keep building to become the best player that you can be and become the best uh, person that you can be, I think all the rest will take care of itself. My resume speaks for itself. Everybody have bad days. I mean, you come to work and you wake up some days, you don't feel like going to work, right? It's a bad day. Today, today, yeah. See, it's a bad day. <laughs> you just asked a bad question, even, so next. Even more so today, yeah. Next. Uh, over to your right. Mm -hmm. The Superdome is such a unique atmosphere. Yeah. From your standpoint, mm -hmm. you played in every facility virtually. Mm -hmm. Describe the challenges of that building. Um, man, just me personally, uh, I talk, I, I, the first time I walked, that was my first time ever walking in the Superdome when we played them in uh, preseason. And just, just me just having just a connection with just who I am as a person, where I come from and things like that, I just felt the love and the culture just from the city because then you just look at the history behind everything, the disasters and things that happened, just at all the love and, and, and support that you got in that building, especially with, with the, the, the Katrina and all those stuff. I think about that and you feel me, you kind of feel that soul and then you think about the whole tradition of just the down south mentality of, of just the, the loving and caring feeling that you get from being in New Orleans. And, you know, it's special, and then you see it in they, and how they how they support their team, the who that nation is gonna be there, and we and like you say, we come in and we gonna have a, a, a nice game, and we gonna see who win. Hey, Marcus, uh, mm -hmm. can you explain the difference that, that what Wade's able to do when you have a key been there, and, mm -hmm. and how it makes you guys different? I mean, you got two dogs, and and at this time. It, it, we ain't gonna do nothing different. He gonna call his defense, and we and he, he gonna expect for his dogs to hold up outside. Like I say, we understand the challenge that we got in, that we that we got coming into it. We understand that they gonna feed him the ball. We understand that we gotta uh, rain, uh, keep Kamar inside, no explosive, and stop the run when they try to ground and pound with 22. All those other things, man. We just it's gonna be ups and downs in the game, man. We just gotta execute and execute. Thank you guys. Got Dante Fowler coming. Thank so you. Marcus Peters, a two-time Pro Bowl.